my mentality is like a light switch for me, you know? You know, off the field we can be friends and buddies, you know, but as soon as we cross that line and the whistle is blown, you know, you're my enemy, you know, I'm, I'm out to get you. Be honest with you, he's a complete package. His feet, his hips, his vision, his work ethic. I feel like he's the kid that walks into a room and you just know that's the leader. Not too many kids can say they play for two different countries at his age. 16 years old, playing with grown men. So he needs to be bigger, he needs to be faster, and the only way you can do that is by working hard. You gotta keep going if you wanna be the best version of yourself. I feel like I'm one of the best center backs in the world. My name is Antonio Leone. I'm 16 year old, I'm a professional soccer player, and I play center back. Going up, wide base. Work on form and breathing. Okay? Go. Good. 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 Come on, come on, come on. Get it. Good. Come on, get it, get it, get it. There it is, right there. It's a nice sunny day in Southern California. Oh, yeah. This is how you become a champion. Three, two, one. Hit it. Good. Good. One. Come on. Two. Come on. People usually like to work hard when the spotlight is on them, but when I was raised, you know, my dad, he was always telling me, better to work hard in silence, and then when you get older, you get the applause. That's something we live off here. And you know, I think I just fed off that. Tony's the type of player, gritty, has his team's back, and his work ethic separates him because he's a natural leader and leaders do it when nobody's looking. And that's how I raised him. Work in silence and take all the glory on the field. Heidi, there it is. Good, 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 and time, shut it down. I was six years old when I wanted to play professional soccer. What attracted me to the game was, I would say the passion. I started watching like, you know, like everybody does Messi highlights, Ronaldo. My dad helped me and my mom and the support from everybody. We worked hard, we stayed through it. Keep your head down, and then that's how we got here. Work on form and breathing, baby. Go, good, 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 and go, come on, come on. When he won the MVP last year of the DA as a defender, I knew Tony can become professional. I was like, oh, defensive players don't win MVP. Maybe we got something special here. I'm gonna tell you, I'm be honest. The ladder, I would fall and slip every day. Tony used to be clumsy, he used to get cut, and I'd be like, it's okay. I'm like, if you really want to do this, we got to work hard. Set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. We kept at it, worked for like eight years. It got me to where I am today. But you know, I can't stop, I got to keep going. Don't let it roll. You got to control it. Don't let the ball control you. I wanted him to be the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, the smartest person on the field. I knew I can help him with that. I can get his feet faster than everybody. I can get his body stronger than everybody. And I can make him just so explosive, it blows people's mind. Hell of a job, hell of a job, hell of a job. There we go. We do a lot of strength training, we do a lot of ball training, we do a lot of hip turning, we lift a little bit of weights, we do shooting as well, we do it all. Most definitely he expects 110, you know. It's a blessing to have him. Some days, you know, I don't want to get up. He was like, he always tells me, what would Kobe do, you know? And that just pushes me more. We gotta finish through the cone though, okay? Stop before the cone, man. It's like stopping before the finish line, baby. You don't have to tell Tony, let's go to work. He knows when it's time to get to work. He always stood out from the other kids. Definitely loves to defend. He loves to be challenged. The key word for me is consistency. Like you show up and show out every game. Tony's mentality never changes when he competes. He can be playing video games. If he's losing, he's gonna, he's gonna let you have it. He's a very competitive kid. Come on. He can't change a leader. That's just who he is. Last set, last set, last set. There it is. Some of my big achievements, I would say, is winning the golden ball for like all the players in the USDA, playing against the best club in the world, Barcelona, at the age of 11. Another one I would say is, you know, obviously becoming a professional soccer player at 16 year old. So this, this is where I got MVP. This was the playoffs for like the USDA, best player of the tournament. When they gave me MVP, you know, I was surprised, but I still managed to get it, you know, I was very proud of myself. This one right here, this was my first ASO team, you know, AYSO. This one is my first contract and we framed it because it's a very big milestone for me. You know, becoming a professional soccer player at 16, you know, it's for sure it's a dream come true. You know, I've always dreamed 
in my head that I was gonna become a professional, but when the day happened, you know, I was excited. It's good to make it there, but it's harder to stay there, like my dad always told me. You know, so now that I made it, I know I have to work twice as hard. On a normal day, I wake up about 7 a.m. You know, I eat breakfast, and then, then I go ahead with the first team, and then I go back outside and, you know, work on my touch, little things, you know. Eat lunch, then do a lot of schoolwork, homeschool, and then we get workout number two. That we do a lot of strength and conditioning, you know, with the weights, and then we do ball skills. Working on form and technique. They get tired, huh? I would like to say I'm a very confident player. I've always been a leader on and off the field for my teammates. You know, I like to dribble, play passes in between line. I feel like I'm one of the best center backs currently in the world at my age. His style is definitely a winning mentality. He's gonna do anything he can to push his team to win. What makes Tony a good center back is his quality of his feet. Light on his feet, he's fast, he's, he's explosive. He's a special talent. We just gotta continue to work. There we go. Besides soccer, another hobby of mine is, I would say playing video games with my little brother. It's a little bond time, you know, it's fun. He's more competitive than I am, you know. At such a young age, you know, it's, it's kind of crazy, but it's a good thing, you know. For family time, we usually like to watch basketball games, or if there's any soccer games, we watch them as well. We're definitely a sports family. With me and my dad, it's something different that not a lot of people have. You know, I'm very blessed and, you know, thankful to God that I have the dad that I have. It's okay if you make mistakes. That's why we out here working, working on it, okay? Let's go, baby, come on. You know, he always supported me behind my back, and you know, I, I love him to death. You know, I would do anything for him. Family is very important to Tony. Family is important, that's the main thing we teach is respect and honor and, and treat people the way you want to be treated. Whenever he needs me, I'll be there. Sky's the limit. Right. Good. I hope he does with everything he dreams of because he puts too much work and too much time into it not to be successful. He's only 16. I mean, we tell him, imagine where you could be in the next five years. So we're just extremely proud of him. Yeah, so my long-term goal, I want to play in Europe. I want to become the best. American defender, you know, I want my brother to look up to me and be like, I want to do what he's doing. Just to know that he can take that career path, you know, and, and believe in himself. No Days Off is a big one in the family, you know. My dad always told me when I was younger, you know, if you're not working, there's always someone in the world working harder than you, you know. So you got to go at it every day 110%. You know, some days you might not want to do it. Two more. Let's go. Come on. Some things you're just going through the motions. Come on, turn those hips. But you always gotta put effort and never give up. Two sets, sit, yep, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Time. Where the camera, right there? Where the camera, right there? That's the way you work out.